to my favorite place to be, HQ Words. I am your host, Catwoman. Nope, I am your host, Harley Quinn. Nope, I am your host, Anna Roisman. There she goes. I'm just waiting on the comic to come out about a word queen who defeated all of the puzzles in order to live happily ever after in a bubble, right? Good pitch? You like it? Tonight, we have a very special game that is all about comic books. Okay, this is the dessert to HQ Trivia's Marvel movie game that some of you just played and won, only we're making bank on spelling words. Okay, tonight's prize is $2,500. That'll help you buy a superhero cape, right? But before we fly, why don't you spin the wheel around my face for your letter? Check me out, I'm Wonder Wheel Woman, okay? Now I know that only letters can truly save the world. So I stay, I fight, and I give for the words I know that can be spelled. Wow, that's a direct quote from the Wonder Wheel Woman movie. That's crazy, write it down. Whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It is time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. Up, up, and away! Pretend I just like flew far away. Your first hint is impressive sound. Type in the letters W, A, and P. This is a great description of a loud sound. Okay, clearly one you would come across in comics. And it sounds just like it's spelled. It's onomatopoeic. That's a fun word to say, but we didn't want to type it out. I'm just gonna say it. Impressive sound. The impressive sound is kapow! How many got it right? Kapow! 188,428 solved the puzzle and kapow! 13,000 eliminated on kapow. It's a great word, right? Kapow! It sounds just like it's spelled. You know what I love most about comics? They're visual. Your next hint is something every comic has because they fill the page. These are single moments that make up a full story when put together. Now, I'm not sure where you're playing from, but in America, we look at these from left to right. But it's not the same everywhere. Other countries look at these differently. But keep your mind in that comic world and the answer is panels. Do you know what the panels are that fill a comic? Look at that, they're all the squares that each each one has a different moment in there. Those are the panels that make up the comics. 108,000 solved the puzzle, 80,802, woo! You just got wiped out on panels real early in the game, but we gotta move on to puzzle three. Depending on your taste, you may be familiar with the panels of this comic. Type in this powerful lady. It's not me, but thank you so much. This character from DC Comics is a cousin to a very famous, powerful male. She has special powers. And there was recently a live action show with this title on the CW. Ooh, so many good hints. Who is this powerful lady? It's Supergirl to the rescue! Tonight I feel like Supergirl. 106,000 solved the puzzle, 7,500 eliminated on Supergirl. She's cousins with Superman. Did you know that? You learn something new every day. Hey, speaking of Supergirls, did you hear that Trivia is doing a Beyonce game on Wednesday? And guess what? We are doing a pop music game right after it, Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Okay, so stream some music, okay? Cause it's gonna be time to groove on HQ Words. Okay, this next one has been around forever. We're back in comic land. It's a staple in the comic world and they're a famous team you might wanna be a part of. These guys started back in the 1960s, created by Stan Lee. And one of the guys is really hot, really hot. Another one of them has a thing for friendship. I feel like I relate to everyone on the team. And I'm talking about the Fantastic Four. But you know who I am in the Fantastic Four? Ooh, I'm Invisible Girl, watch this. I'm back, I'm kidding. 
10, 100, 1,000 solved the puzzle, 4,500 eliminated on Fantastic Four. Do you remember Invisible Girl? You wanna see it happen again? Watch me, I'm Invisible Girl. Woo! That's it for the game. No, I'm kidding, that's not it, I'm back. I'm back, of course I'm back. Okay, here's a hint. I love, because who doesn't love a little drama, even in comics? You know the saying, keep your friends close and your frenemies at a considerable distance. These two were always hot and cold. If you're familiar with the town of Riverdale, or the TV show, I bet you know who I'm talking about. Maybe you have a frenemy in real life and this is a very similar relationship. But the frenemies we're looking for are Betty and Veronica. You know, Betty and Veron Veronica from the Archie comics. There they are. Betty and Veronica. Who got it right? 65,249 got it right. 37,046 eliminated on Betty and Veronica. And you know I'm gonna ask you because they're frenemies, who, which team are you on? Are you team Betty or team Veronica? Okay, let me know in the chat. Just write Betty or Veronica. I'm gonna tell you I'm team Veronica just cause she's a brunette, right? You gotta, sta you gotta stand with the brunettes when you're a brunette. But hey, whichever team you chose, that's fine. It looks like we're all still on the same word nerd team because you just made it halfway through the game. Ooh la la, you solved your way through five puzzles and now only five more to go until that money. Also, I hear your team Betty. Am I alone here, team Veronica? Team Betty, that's okay. Okay, we're so close to the next five puzzles, here we go. There will be a lot of celebration, a lot of cheering. It's great, it's gonna be great when you win, but it's a lot to take in, which is also your hint. Okay, there's a lot to pay attention to here. So you need to be in the right mindset. Remember, we're still in comic world all night long, baby. And your local bookstore probably has a section for this. For a graphic novel, a graphic novel, it's a compilation of a bunch of comics in one bigger book. 24,724 solved it. 43,993. You got schooled out, baby. Schooled out of the puzzle on graphic novel. That's okay, because everyone who is just schooled right now, we are just turning all of your avatars into a big graphic novel from HQ. It's gonna be beautiful. But we're moving on. Obviously, we love comics on this show because of all the things the characters have to say. But there's a formula here, as comics are carefully worded. They're carefully worded because it has to do with the space and the style of the comic a lot of time. Carefully worded on HQ words. We don't usually have worded in the hint. And this has to do with what the character is saying. I'm talking about that speech balloon. Pretend there's a speech balloon right above my head right now. 23,860, you solved the puzzle. 6,794, eliminated on speech balloon. You know when there's a little bubble and then there's that balloon above the head, right? My balloon right now, what's it saying? It's saying, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I love words. It's saying I love words, you, you know it. Okay, this next hint has definitely made it into a speech balloon before. You ever get confused about what you're looking at? I wanna know these incorrect observations. You may be quick to fix your mistakes, but this one seems to keep happening over many, many, many years. Especially to regular people on the street who have no idea what's going on. They make an incorrect observation. And the incorrect observations, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's, it's Superman. this guy. Yes, it's Superman. Oh, it's Superman! It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. It's 20,882 solving the puzzle, 4,100 eliminated on it's a bird, it's a plane. I can see why it's confusing. You know, when you're looking from far away, you don't know if it's a man or a bird or a plane. They're all just flying in the sky, right? But if you're a hardcore comic book fan, you probably remember the original ones of these if you're late to the game, don't, don't worry, okay? There are movies that have been made about this popular 
series? What is this popular series? Even if you haven't read it, I know you have you know this one. It stars a ton of comic characters that we all know from different stories. And it's been popular for years. It takes place in a dystopian future of a specific city. I'm talking about The Dark Knight Returns! And the city is Gotham City, and it's Batman 16,572 return, and 5,162 eliminated. But hey, if you picked, uh, I, I wanted to know one thing, if you have a favorite Batman, right? We've had so many actors play Batman over the years. And my favorite is, uh, is Christian Bale. That's who I'm picking. And if you pick Christian Bale, congrats, because we're on the same page. But you're smart. Trust your instincts. Whoever you picked, it looks like you hopped in the Batmobile. You raced through to the final puzzle. Ooh, we started tonight's game with over 200,000 players, and now only the Avengers are left. We've covered so many characters, but I want to take it back to an OG one right now. Okay, your final hint is origin story key player. What is the origin story? Who is this player in this story? I hope you can solve this without getting too creeped out. But I gotta say, it kind of creeps me out. It does. And the final answer is Radioactive Spider. You know Radioactive Spider. It, it got Peter Parker, turned him into Spider-Man, but Radioactive Spider actually just turned 13,608 of you into HQ Words winners. Ooh, you're a superhero now, baby. All right, let's see who our fastest players were in tonight's game in first place, winning $100, Mr. Sacco. In second place, that puzzle guy, you came in second with $75. And in third place, Anna Pinu, I think I said that right, you won $50, huh? On our comic book game. That is the game for tonight. Congrats to all of the winners. Okay, you're officially a superhero of the game, right? Super nerd. It'll happen. You watch. I wish we could save the world together tonight, but my next panel shows that I'm having dinner with Supergirl, and then I'm planning to fly around town, save a few humans, maybe some animals. You know, you never know what you're going to find in New York City. I'm Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media before I disappear. Kapow! I'm back. I will see you back here at 9.30 p.m. tomorrow night for another brand new game of HQ Words. So before we part ways, remember, it doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. That's from The Dark Knight Rises, but it also works for HQ Words puzzles, right? Okay, goodbye. I'm flying out of here.